morning guys <laughs> it is what nine o'clock roughly and uh, I had a really good night I slept really well Mr. T-Max did not have a good night as they can probably see <laughs> you know I was up most of the night I think yeah. up peeing and and I farted a lot <laughs> nice a lot <laughs> Yeah. I must have been asleep. I don't even remember that. Yeah, he kept he kept uh, snoring on and off all night. So yeah. He I was probably sleeping. complained in my sleep to you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was no there was no fish on the fishing pole, but uh, the bait was gone. So there's crafty fish in this lake. But I don't think they're very big. If they were big enough, they would have taken that hook. The hook's not very big. So my guess is. Anyway, it is time to get the bear bag down and make some breakfast. Are you ready for breakfast? Yeah, I am. Okay. My GoPro died overnight. Uh, the cord is very temperamental. When I was charging it, so I had to charge it for a little while. We were actually up about 8:30 ish, between 8 and 8:30. So I've got a bit of a charge on here now. Here's the bear bag. Hung it up on this tree branch. It's up there pretty good. It's not far enough away from camp, but last night when I hung it, it was dark, and I thought I was further away than I was. So let's unravel. Bring her back down to earth. Come here, you. Round the tree we go. All right. Okay, food bag. Are we on? We're on. Oh, man. Yeah, so I was undoing, opening up my bear bag, or my, uh, my food bag that we had hanging up last night and some little critter was trying to get to the food I guess and yeah. it crapped all over it and then it got all over my finger. Yeah, it was still wet, right? It was still wet, gooey. <laughs> Gross. And I had a where I brought brought anything to wash with. No. So we forgot soap. Nothing, not even a wet wipe. So I'm gonna use a little bit of crest cavity protection to <laughs> <laughs> Go hey, on. try to figure it out. It's the closest thing to soap we have. Uh, I did find this, so this came with my MRE. So I'll let Mr. T Max use that. Yeah. Right. Whoop. Okay. I'm dropping everything, man. Well done. Sorry. I'm just throwing a little extra coffee in here. So here's some, here's my breakfast. Got two packages of grits. And a Belvita, however you say that, Belvita. Some fish bait. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Mr. T Max is going to pick up some spam and we'll split that. Up. And that should be good for breakfast. I don't need to eat too much. And then the rest is all snacks and lunch. Lunch is a mountain house meal. Anyway, our table's a mess. If the neighbors come over, they're going to be like, oh, you guys are slobs. We'll be embarrassed. Here's the rest of it. <laughs> one and a half serving. One cup of water. There's other stuff to eat. Dang. So I'm going to attempt, so I'm going to heat up enough water for some coffee and uh, my breakfast scrambled eggs and then I'm hopefully going to keep it going and fire up some uh, this little frying pan that I found at Walmart. It weighs next to nothing. And I'm going to fry up some, some Spam single for us. Nice. Yes. Half your audience just barfed, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Those Spam singles come in really handy though up here. I see it in a lot of videos. They're popular. So we will have some meatage with our breakfast. Yes. 
If you can call that meat, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you can. Some in there. It's probably just skin. <laughs> That's gross. Toes and ears and stuff like that. Cool. So the culprit that crapped on Mr. T Max's bear bag has been over here in these trees mocking us. It's a squirrel. I'm trying to figure out where he is. He's quiet when I come over here, and then when I walk away, he laughs at us. So, and so he should. He, he got us good. Don't know where he is. Anyway, we discovered who did it. It was a squirrel. It was not a grizzly bear, which don't even live up here, so that's good. Did. I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna attract the grizzly bears and the wolves. Let's stir this up. Put it down here so it doesn't fall. Oh yeah. No. Get it nice and soft, and then we'll let it stand and get thick. Perfect. How's that stand? It's coming. Nice. It's actually working pretty good. Uh oh. Sort of. <laughs> so I have to hand it to the good folks at GoPro. Let me wipe this off. Uh, my camera was sitting over here. No, it was sitting here on the edge of this rock, wasn't it? Yeah. And I had my pot sitting there heating water for uh, this stuff and as soon as I dumped that into the pot the weight of that combined with the breeze that was blowing whole thing fell as you can see and knocked my GoPro down onto that rock covered it with that goo <laughs> that here, it, I literally lost it all and most of it over my camera. So unfortunately, I had to do a serious cleanup job and fortunately, uh, I was able to dip it in the water and clean it off because GoPros are waterproof. So it's working obviously. My bad. No, note to self, take this off the stove, set it on solid ground before you go dumping crap in it. God, that was stupid. What a mess. Maybe a shorter, fatter pot, too. Yeah. I do have a different stove. I just, I don't know. That one, I don't know. I just grabbed it. So Joe and I are going to go for a little hike. Not a big one. Just over to the end of the lake. Let's just see what's over there. Um, I The fish are jumping. I keep throwing my pole in the water wherever they're jumping. And they're just not interested. I'm bait fishing, so they're after bugs. Anyway, I threw it in the water right over in here. I'm just going to leave it there for a while. Just over this ridge, our camp and the lake are right over this hill right here. So just over the top is another... I don't know if you'd consider this a lake or a pond. I'll have to throw it up on the screen whether it's actually labeled as a lake. Or just it's just a pond that's not named. Could be a puddle. Could be. <laughs> so we're just kind of wandering down to it. It's so open. Look at this meadow. It's beautiful. I don't see any movement in it, like fish. Looks pretty quiet. It's so devoid of trees, it makes you wonder if 
the water level occasionally gets up really high. Yeah, right. It, could, it probably comes right up here over this grass in the runoff. Mm -hmm. I would think. Because there are pools where it's trapped. Like this stagnant cesspool right here. Gross. It smells funny. <laughs> I think that counts as a puddle. Yeah, definitely. That's interesting though, it's kind of oozing up, isn't it? Yeah. Weird. We should drink some. Mmm. <laughs> well, we're not real outdoorsmen until we can drink. <laughs> First one to get sick wind. Yeah. So this is a bit spongy, but not bad. There must be like a constant water flow coming down. Yeah. Somewhere. I think that's where that trickle is coming from. I think it's coming from that other lake right yeah. down to here. We've got some blooming lily pads. Really that's nice. Pretty. Yeah. Blooming awesome. It is. Just all the way around. I ask you, why wouldn't you come out here? But you want to do this. Yes, except there's a camera in one of my hands. The hills are alive. <laughs> Making viewers dizzy. Wow, it's so clear. Dude, I'd be an idiot not to. say about the air up here we haven't really hiked much and that was definitely not much of a hike and just moving around here in this meadow hard to catch my breath so as beautiful as it is be prepared for thin air unless you live at a higher elevation and you're used to it it can really play havoc with you yeah. <laughs> That's nothing. I live on a mountaintop in Colorado. You're a wussy. Another old man playing camping. <laughs> That's right. I kind of like throwing that up like I don't give a shit. It's coming at me. That's pretty much what I did. <laughs> like, well, I can either let this hurt me, get all butt hurt over it, or I can make fun of them with their own comment. a sacred chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do you well it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall and the major lift the baffled king composing hallelujah strong but you needed proof you saw her bathing on the roof her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you so little air so many need to breathe <laughs> I bet if you took a few a few uh, oh, gasps of Breasts of pure oxygen could rock your world right now. <laughs> Probably. Whew. I am thinking we are going to die. <laughs> that is no good. Go 
Would you like, would you like some fries with your drink? <laughs> Sir, I do not think you were made for climbing in the mountains. Man, anyone who camps right there must be real weird and geeky. I know, probably. Hey, who, who gets a blue tarp? I don't know. Like, everything's blue down there. What's up with that? That's so weird. It's like they're trying to make camp easy. <laughs> so, there is an abundance of flat rock up here. And last night I laid on one and stared at the stars before it got cloudy. It was amazing. Mr. T-Max over there. He found himself one. And I'm on one. Big, flat, nice rock. It feels good. Here's my view. Double vlogging. Stop it. I'm gonna see through time. Clouds are building and getting thicker. I think we might see some fish. Got a little chilly out here, so we I put on long sleeves, put on a jacket. Yeah. Now we need to filter some water because we're pretty much out of water. Smart water bottle. That's right. I found this big one a while back. It's been great. Yeah. These Sawyers. I have the mini, and he has the regular Sawyer squeeze. Mine's bigger. Filter. His is bigger. Size. Size doesn't matter because <laughs> just because I have to squeeze harder to make mine work. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I'm gonna fill this with lake water and filter it into my smart bottles. These Sawyers fit perfectly on my platypus uh, so I don't use this as a backpacking uh, water bladder anymore I use it as a water reservoir for when I filter it's, it holds three liters and then I can filter it into these empty smart water bottles which are super lightweight without water in them and and they also fit this Sawyer squeeze so you don't have to have necessarily the Sawyer squeeze bags. And another thing that's nice is this. Show them how you can drink lake water, Mr. T-Max. Yeah, let's do it. Just, just chug it. Completely safe. That definitely has a better flow than mine. His is bigger and has a better flow. But they both work and that's what's important. That's the important part. Oh, let's go put some water in this bladder. I need some water in my bladder. Hey, water, water, where's the see some water in my bladder? I should check my fishing pole. There's fish jumping out there, rippling the water. If that's, can you ripple something? Is that a verb? Rippling the water. My pole's right here. I may actually hike down to where the water is trickling and that get my water that way pull the line loose and see if it pulls back nah I can see those buggers out there swimming and my guess is they're just so small that they're able to pull the bait off um, without getting hooked so they're probably not even worth catching maybe we'll hit Ruth on my way back but they're definitely swimming out there so there are fish in Hayden Lake, I just don't know how big they are. Because I've only almost caught one. On my BB-8 pole. Don't knock it guys, these kitty poles are fantastic backpacking poles. I highly recommend them. And if they break or wear out, they're 12 bucks. So what? And they usually last me quite a while. It's easier if I fill these first and filter them into my bladder. If at all, I don't know. I may not use the bladder. But these these absorb the water and the, the bladder just needs really a flowing stream or river to fill up. So this will work. Alright, so there's two bottles of water.
And we'll just use the platypus if I find a river or something. If I need it, I may not need more water than this. I am thinking we're going to die. <laughs> that is no good.